because uh, crime is okay uh, in Los Angeles. Finally, in New York, they're wising up and prosecuting everything, even for people that jump in the turnstiles. That's the new message. Hopefully, they'll get the message on the West Coast because well, they are destroying that state. We live in a world where, at any moment, you can turn on Fox News and hear our favorite commenters wax on and on about how crime is ravaging the U.S. and none of us are safe from it. And we all know what type of crimes they are alluding to, but there's one major deadly epidemic sweeping America that I'll bet every one of you have, in some form or another, experienced firsthand, but you won't find anyone on Fox News talking about it, and that is traffic violence. Deaths from car accidents are skyrocketing. It's one of the leading causes of death for young Americans, and it's an issue that is preventable and not enough people are talking about. Take a look at this tweet. It reads, good luck to future pedestrians who don't have this app, which lets a self-driving car tell you that it, quote, will not be stopping at the crosswalk. So this is a tongue-in-cheek tweet from patent lawyer Jeff Steck, referencing an actual patent filed in 2020 that the holder describes as a method and system for communication between a vulnerable road road user and an autonomous vehicle regarding potential interactions between the autonomous vehicle and the vulnerable road user. In other words, as our cars get smarter, there sure is a heck of a lot of stupidity emerging as well. Take a look at this horrendous accident that occurred in South Los Angeles last week. I've covered traffic deaths before on Rebel HQ, and as cars get more massive and drivers more brazen, especially post-COVID, seeing videos like this reminds us of the terrifying thought that this could literally be any of us. Take a look at this video study and NBC did in which a mother sits in a new SUV whose blind spot is so big she quite literally cannot see nine children lined up in front of the car's bumper. Nine children are lined up perpendicularly in front of the car and the woman in the driver's seat can't see any of them. A 16-foot blind spot in a model that champions itself as a family car with the latest safety features is an abomination. This is very scary for a lot of consumers who think they're getting the best in terms of safety. And what's interesting is it seems like mothers are at the front lines of sounding the alarm about this issue. Women are far more skeptical of autonomous car safety, according to a new Pew report. And the bad policies just keep coming. One unfortunate part of the Inflation Reduction Act you might have missed is that it includes a bunch of EV tax credits, but they're only applicable to trucks, vans, and SUVs. David Zipper, an academic who studies cities and mobility, dead on with his question here. With traffic deaths spiking, why on earth would Congress incentivize buying an expensive truck or SUV instead of a sedan. In terms of car safety, all of the bells and the whistles that are now added don't change the fundamental fact that the sheer design and size of cars today is going backwards. City after city is seeing skyrocketing pedestrian deaths, and we as Americans have passively accepted this as part of our lives. But we don't have to. There are both car technologies and city infrastructure policies that can drastically reduce these unnecessary deaths, speed limiters on cars, marked crosswalks, more crosswalks, in-road warnings. The solutions are there. We just need to be more adamant about our cities and towns implementing them and letting our leaders know that we demand traffic deaths become a thing of the past. Much of this begins and ends at the local level. So if you're as infuriated as I am, make sure you're plugged into your community and we can stop these senseless deaths together. Thanks so much for watching. You can follow me on all platforms at Caro John. Johnson 917.